Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles. With a knowledgeable sales staff and amazing service departments, you'll drive away satisfied. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. MackeyMotors.com Mackey Motors uh, Post King Show. Mackey Motors in Lake City and recipient of the GM Mark of Excellence Award for 15 years running. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City or check them out at MackeyMotors.com. We do have Brenda McAllister up here with us and she is smiling from this big win for you and the girls here tonight. You guys really came out. I thought set the tempo in that first set here tonight. Playing aggressive. I thought you were the more aggressive team all night, whether it was hitting at the net or serving. What did you? What, what stood out for you tonight about the way you and the girls played? I mean, our energy, that was the biggest thing. And, I mean, Emma's always preaching about good energy, good energy, good energy, because then carries us in the court, and obviously it showed. I mean, I think it was second set, we kind of got down, but mm -hmm. then we came back with some energy, and then third set, we started off with good energy, and then that worked. You got some really good serving. Alexa Hollum, I thought, served really well in that first set. I think I had her for three or four aces in that first set alone tonight. What was it with, with you and the girls tonight? Alexa, you, JC, or Nora, Hayden Berquist also had some, some aces tonight. What was it with the serve tonight? What were you guys trying to take advantage of them? I mean, I think it was right back most of the night. We were trying to stay away from the libero, but we work on serve, serve receive all the time in practice, so it's paying off. <laughs> You, you can you do top spin and you do float out of that jump surf uh, and I think that's really neat you can change things up I know one time tonight you went jump surf you went to float on the first one and then top spin on the next one how do you decide what you're gonna do I mean I'll be honest here that kind of just happens <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's not something you're trying no I mean I'm trying to work on my hard float because then it'll okay. drop but okay. the spins just look Okay, let's talk a little bit about you at the net tonight. How did you feel swinging? You were swinging some out of the right and then mainly out of the left here tonight. I thought you did a nice job, but how did you feel like you swung? I mean, I feel like the beginning I'm always super nervous, but then Emma's always telling us just swing, just swing aggressively. And then Nora's sets were right there all the time, so her sets were perfect, and then got a good swing. So is it nerves a little bit in that first set? You, I mean, you played well, but I think you had three kills in the first set, and then I think you came back with five or six in the second set. Was it just kind of getting the nerves and settling in on that second set? Yeah, I'm always a nervous person, so. <laughs> you mentioned Nora. She's kind of switched into that setter role this year as JC's went out and, and started to hit a little bit. You two, though, have worked together a lot. You're in the same grade, good friends. So what's it like, and how quick did you kind of make that transition to hitting off of Nora this year? I mean, her sets are super good. They were just like JC's, so it wasn't that hard of a transition like I thought it would be. And she's worked super well. She's super coachable. So anything that me or JC say, high or low or out, she puts it right there the next time. What was the difference, do you think, in that uh, fourth set here tonight that allowed you girls to hold on as, as Altaria made a charge at the, at the end? I mean, I feel like we just stayed aggressive the whole entire time. Emma's super <laughs> upbeat about that, you could say. And as long as we stayed up beating our energy was high, we just kept on pushing. Well, I tell you what, great job tonight. Get some rest, uh, and uh, I'll see you on Saturday up at the tournament okay. at Rockwell City. See ya. You bet, Brenda McAllister. Let's get head coach Emma Schleichman to jump here on the headsets here as they make that uh, transition. And... <laughs> Emma, you're going to learn as the coach. You always go first, right? Right. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Really good win against the team that came into this one undefeated tonight. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought... To me, you guys were the aggressor, whether it be serving or swinging here tonight. And I think that was all night long. And Brenda just talked about it. You talk energy all the time, she says, in practice. Were you happy with tonight's energy? Yeah, I was. I just let them know that we need to come out energetic and enthusiastic. I always tell them, I'm like, even if you don't feel it right now, just fake it till you make it because momentum swings and that type of energy wins games. But yeah, that was our game plan um, all week in practice, just be the aggressors, you know. And it showed tonight. Anytime we swung, we got them out of system where we got a kill. So anytime we tipped or pushed or rolled, they were picking all that up and then swinging back in our face. So as long as we stay aggressive, good things will happen. And, and that's what showed tonight. So Got out to a, a lead in every set here tonight. How important was that to maybe set that tempo right away? That's just something I reiterate in every time out to or in between sets. It's like we need to come out and we need to get a lead right away. You know, kind of pop them in the mouth. You don't want to sit and wait and wait for them to get ahead and then play catch up the whole game. You want to get ahead early, and that's what they did. So that was a great. That was great to get out and lead each set. That really like set a precedent for the rest of the game. You mentioned coming out of the timeouts. I think you scored every time coming out of timeouts tonight <laughs> as well. I know. I it said seemed like that. Did you catch that? I said to Alicia, I was like, "That's my third coach's point of the night." And they missed the serve. <laughs> but that's just lucky. But yeah. 
they, they tend to be really responsive in the timeouts and everyone's paying attention and they take what I say and they really just try to do it. So I'm I'm really happy with that. What did you see out of your back row tonight? Did you feel like you handled their serve pretty well? Yeah, um, definitely in set two, that set that we lost, we, we couldn't really handle their serve. They were serving tough, getting us out of system a lot. Um, so then we were having to get free balls and stuff and that just turned into points on their end. But we definitely cleaned it up. That's something that I'm happy with. I'm happy that we're able to make it out of those ruts and not just kind of dwell on them for the rest of the set or the rest of the game. So we came out of it. But other than that, serve receive looked looked pretty good. And defense was phenomenal. I kept saying to them, I was like, you guys are doing awesome. You're digging the hard hit and then you're scrapping for all the tips and the pushes and the rolls. So I, I think they looked great on defense. I thought you won tonight with serve a little bit. Brenda said you guys were really trying to go back right. Did you feel like you were hitting the spots that you wanted to? Um, a little too many balls to the libero, <laughs> that's for sure. But I wondered that. Yeah, I just kept telling them serve tough. You know, if we can get them out of system, that's what we want. We want them to give us all the pushes, tips, and rolls so that we can turn those free balls into kills. So I think we did a great job serving aggressively, especially Brenna. She did a good job. Let's let's talk Hayden Burquist here for a second. Uh, a couple of big points for her. The one ended set one, and then she had another mm -hmm. kill. I think it was either late in set two or late in set three that kept you guys in the lead. So a freshman stepping up and mm -hmm. playing with confidence there late in the set. Yeah, she does a good job she had quite a few aces as well she's always aggressive on the serves you know she's really working hard to get the block closed every time but it looks it looks and seems like every time in transition she's trying to get in there for that one so she's being very aggressive swinging all the time she never wants to tip which neither do I so we always <laughs> see her swing so that's great she's doing a great job well coach I know you got a big tournament coming up Saturday appreciate you joining us here congrats on the win tonight Thank this you. one this one could turn out to be big I think in the conference yeah. late in the season yeah so, feels good you bet head coach again Emma Schleichman joining us here in the post game tonight we'll be back to name our player of the game coming up next right after this on kick 106.7 is the Titans win it tonight three to one